Welcome to the Valkyrie Quick Start Guide. In this video, we will be showing you how to unbox a Valkyrie camera and connect up to eight Valkyrie cameras with a simple switch. For more information on other Valkyrie and MIX systems, please refer to this link, which is listed and linked in the description below. The equipment used in this video will be eight Valkyrie cameras, simple switch, CAT6 Ethernet cable, and a PC. To open the box, lift the box from here. When you first open the box, you will see the Valkyrie wrap in its protective Valkyrie bag. To remove from the box, grab from the camera body and gently remove the bag. Now, with the camera on its own, let's learn the right way to lift and carry the camera. To carry the camera correctly, use the grip point at the top of the camera to pick up your Valkyrie camera. Do not pick up the camera in any other way, such as by the lens. Now let's talk about the anatomy of the camera. Here, you will see the secondary optics, the camera body, and the IP65 lens cover. Valkyrie cameras are IP65 rated which means that they are water resistant and have the highest level of dust protection. It only maintains this rating if both the lens cover and the cable cap are properly secured. You must remove the IP65 lens cover to adjust the focus, aperture, or zoom. To remove the cover, hold the camera body and carefully unclip the IP65 lens cover from the lens. You may find it easiest to unclip one side of the cover first and then ease off the cover from the other side. There are three adjustment rings on the lens, focus, aperture, and the focal length, zoom. The ring closest to the camera body is the focus, which controls the sharpness and quality of the image. The middle ring is the aperture, which controls the amount of light allowed through the lens. The last ring is the zoom, which controls the focal length of the camera. To insert the IP65 cable cap, insert the RJ45 connected on the Ethernet cable into the port to the back of the Valkyrie camera. Push the seal into place and ensure it seats flat within the circular recess around the connection. Now, push the cap into place over the seal until the rounded clips on the edge of the cap into the groove in the metal work. If you need to remove the IP65 cable cap that protects the connection between the Ethernet cable and the camera, Ensure that you remove and replace the cap correctly. To remove the IP65 cable cap, hold the camera by its body. Push inward on each of the segments around the edge of the outer cap until it loosens. Then pull the cap backwards along the cable. In this section, we will be covering tethers. Tethers are safety bonds used to secure cameras to your mounting solution, such as a truss. If your Valkyrie system includes a tether, here is how you connect it. To insert the tether, connect the safety chain carabiner through the hole on the rear of the camera. Loop the other end of the safety chain around the rail twice, providing a double loop for additional strength and security. Thread the safety chain and its tail loop through the carabiner, ensuring that the tether is secure so that the unit cannot drop more than 150 millimeters, about 5.91 inches from its fixing point. At the front of the camera, we have the strobe with the secondary optics attached. This helps control how light is dispersed from the camera. With the secondary optic on, it provides 72 degrees of dispersion and with it removed, it provides 54 degrees of dispersion. To remove the secondary optic, slightly twist it and pull it lightly. Before you connect your cameras, ensure they are properly mounted. For Valkyrie cameras, please avoid using microball heads. We recommend mounting the camera upside down to see the LED. In this video, we are using a simple switch. The simple switch can connect up to eight Valkyrie cameras. First, ensure that the Ethernet switch is connected to an appropriate power source. For each camera, insert the end of the CAT6 that has the cable cap into the Ethernet port, 
on the camera and connect the other end to the simple switch. One port is needed to connect to the host PC. To benefit fully from the power and range of Valkyrie cameras, connect each camera to a PoE++ port on a PoE++ switch. In the illustration below, PoE++ ports are indicated by a blue line. As I mentioned before, the PoE++ switch can support up to eight Valkyrie cameras. Any spare ports can be connected to other components in your system, such as the Bicon lock unit or a beacon. The uplink ports or any spare PoE++ ports can be connected to the PC, in the illustration indicated by a yellow line. Now, turn on the Ethernet switch. Since this is a new system, configuring the network card and allowing the software through the firewall is imperative. For more information on how to do that, check this video. In summary, in this video, we went over how to properly unbox and handle a Valkyrie camera and how to connect it as part of a simple system. Thank you for watching this video. As always, if you have any questions, you can contact us at support at bicon.com.